time for Sports with Myra and uh, a very memorable man. What an unbelievable person with a great story. Just a really nice man. Andrew, uh, before 1989, no human being who had a heart transplant had gone on to have a professional sports career. Former Victoria soccer star Simon Keith was the first. Simon is back on the island this weekend to launch his book, Heart of the Game, in the city where his journey and his soccer career began. The books will be for sale this weekend at Royal Athletic Park when the Victoria Highlanders open their season. Simon stepped out onto the pitch at RAP this afternoon for the first time in more than two decades. Many years have passed since Simon Keith laced up a pair of cleats at Royal Athletic Park. It's got to be it's got to be 20 years, literally 20 years, which makes me feel really old. Thanks for asking. Why are you laughing? This used to be his home pitch. But at the age of 21, Simon learned that he needed a heart transplant. There was doubt that he would ever step on a soccer field again. Yeah, yeah, the year was season, 1986, right? and Simon was one of our country's top players. It was a very simple equation. If you get a new heart, you can resume your life again. All right, that means I can play. Armed with a healthy heart from a 17-year-old boy from Wales, Simon moved to Las Vegas to join his brother Adam and chase his soccer dream. At UNLV, Simon got a new start with his new heart. And I, I needed a, you know, just kind of a, a different place where people didn't really know me and I was able to convince the university to not really spread my story. Mm -hmm. So I was able to be normal and heal and uh, get some sun on my, on my face and, um, yeah, I was just a typical college kid making beer and having a good time. Just three years after his surgery, Simon's dream of playing pro became a reality. Selected first overall by the Cleveland Crunch in the 1989 indoor soccer draft. Oh, it was awesome. I mean, it was almost exactly three years to the day of my surgery. It was, yeah, it was one day after it had meant that I was kind of all the way back. You know, I had reached the goal that I'd set, which was to be a professional again. And, uh, you know, it was awesome. It was surreal. Simon Keith went on to play four years of pro soccer. Then he walked away from the beautiful game for good. Uh, it was strange because... <laughs> I was never, ever going to be anything other than the heart guy. No matter what, I was always going to be the heart guy. That's something Simon has struggled with his whole life. It's only now, more than 25 years later, that he's comfortable sharing his life story in his book, Heart for the Game. Proceeds go to educating transplant recipients through the Simon Keith Foundation. I talk about it now. You know, um, I'm a big believer in intuition. My intuition told me that I need to go to England when I was desperate. My intuition told me I need to go to UNLV to, to, to heal. My intuition told me to write a book and, and do the build the foundation. So it's just a gut feeling. Now's the time. This is the place. This is the place right here, Royal Athletic Park on Vancouver Street.